Welcome back on this fabulous Friday. It is no secret that parenting has changed tremendously in recent years. People are waiting later in life to have kids. More people are actually choosing not to have kids at all. And then there's social media, a real game changer for both kids and parents alike. Well, I recently spoke with research psychologist Dr. Frida Birnbaum, who had children, get this, in her 30s and in her 60s for her perspective on what's improved and where there's still room for growth. Take a look. Dr. Frida, I am so happy you're here. Um, as the mother to an 11 year old and a 13 year old, I'm all ears when it comes to being a better parent. I wanna start with your background. Why did you decide to have more kids later in life? Well, the interesting answer to that is the white elephant in the room, because that person's not here, and that was my husband. <laughs> He's the one that nobody interviews or thinks about or cares about, uh, but the truth is it was his idea. Uh, we live longer, uh, younger today. My family lives into their 90s, so that was something that was helpful as well, uh, but, you know, living... Uh, older with younger children does have its advantages. Uh, we have more time, we have more income, and we feel less uh, responsible for what we missed in the past. We're not as pent up as we used to be. So I found that to be the case uh, with my second set of children. I couldn't agree more. I mean, well, I don't have uh, kids that are older, but we got a late start. I was married later in life, and my husband and I both agree. We got all of uh, the things we wanted to do, so to speak, as single people out of the way, and, and now we're really enjoying this time. But I will say it's been really challenging um, with social media because these kids are truly growing up with social media. And um, I feel like it's really impacting how I'm parenting. It's overwhelming. It's like a, a part-time job. So how do you help us, guide us, um, you know, and guide them? You know, you can think of it in a very positive way, because while your children are upstairs in their bedrooms, uh, you feel they're isolated. But guess what? They're really connecting to the world around them, politics, science, uh, technical information, uh, and they're even friending their friends and gaming as well. So when they come down for dinner, don't feel sorry for them. They probably have more information than you do with that Internet. So it is a changing world, but it is for the better. It's just a matter of accepting it that these kids that you have are going to be more informed, more sophisticated uh, than we were or younger generations than us as well. That is true. That's definitely a pro. My daughter will throw out some tips, especially in the kitchen, doctor, where I need yes. them. And I'm laughing and she's like, oh, I saw that on TikTok. But now you've mentioned some of the pros, but let's talk about the cons of parenting in this age. There are many cons, you know, uh, we didn't have to worry about bullying as much right. uh, as we do now uh, and shootings. That's really very upsetting to kids. They live their lives that way. Uh, the other thing is these helicopter parenting that we have today. You know, my kids used to bring in posters. Uh, you could hardly recognize what they did, but... They did it. And then the other kids brought in posters that were done by professionals. The competition seems to be much stronger with education as well. It's not about getting into college, but about yeah. what get what college you're getting into. My neighbors, uh, they had someone take a test, an entrance exam for a college. Of course, the, her daughter couldn't keep up with it, and she soon left. But those are the competitions, uh, athletics after school. What about play dates? I mean, give these kids a break. What is this word play dates all about? Come on, these kids have enough structure in school. Don't they have some downtime? You know, research has shown that having downtime can be the most creative part of your day. So let them stay home. There's nothing wrong if they don't join some athletic club or they don't go into music lessons or they even have play dates. They don't need to have this kind of activity for parents to feel comfortable let them be, and research has shown that's the most creative time when you have nothing to do. Oh, amen, doctor. Woo, I love that one. And last question, we've talked about the ways that parenting has evolved, has changed. In what ways are you seeing through your practice, through your years of experience, that it has stayed the same? Well, what's really stayed the same is uh, that the type of parenting is very important, and it's called authoritative parenting. Parenting. That means you give the child support and structure. Children need both, and they become more successful and happier. There's the uh, 
parenting where a child is not able to be structured and that child gets depressed because they really don't know what to do on their own. And then there's the authoritarian uh, parenting where the child has no say and that child loses confidence oh, when yeah. they get older. So we basically need both. We can't let the child do everything they want, but we need to give them that support system that when they do something, we can structure it. And that's really that really makes the happiest, the best qualified child to go on into life and to be a leader rather than a follower. Ah, oh, doctor, can I have you on speed dial? Thank you so, yes. so much. This is been wonderful information. You're the best. And we appreciate your time. Love you. Thank you so Love much. Love you. Thank Bye -bye. you. Mm. So good.